Hmm. Opens to stairs. Well, I just want to say I'm a huge fan. If any of you guys out there have ever seen the hit film from Matt Stone and Trey Parker, okay, they, they didn't actually write it or anything. They just acted in it, called Basketball. I unironically adore that movie with my whole heart. You would know there is a scene where a guy opens an elevator door to a set of stairs. When you trick-or-treat at Satan's house, trick-or-treat, help yourself to the mini pumpkins. Oh, you'd think that trick-or-treating at Satan's house would be awesome, right? A Lego on wheels that moves so you step on it. This seems like a video that would be made by a certain engineering YouTuber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I need to make one of these right now! <laughs> so, my sister's dog had her front leg amputated today. I suggested they take the amputated leg to a taxidermist. Then they could throw the leg around the backyard and the dog could fetch it. The three-legged dog could still enjoy her fourth leg. No one really liked my idea. Gee willikers, I wonder why. First, exchange it for $20 worth of nickels. Then, sneak into a friend's house and place said nickels on top of blades on the ceiling fan while it's turned off. Then, just sit back and wait for inevitable angry call after they spring the trap and make it hail on themselves. You thought this through. No, no, no. You don't put coins on the fan blades. You wait until it's winter time, because not much need for a ceiling fan on in the winter, and cover all the tops of the blades in glitter. Then, just sit back, wait a few months. They'll have absolutely no idea who did such a thing or even when, and years down the road, as they're still dealing with the fallout of the glitter, they won't even know why. You know, I can throw my hat into the ring for being Satan this time around. I actually recently purchased a, and you're gonna think this is great, an MC Hammer action figure. Why? Because it had a sealed cassette tape in it that I wanted as I collect cassette tapes. What I did, though, was I took the cassette out, Kept it for myself, sitting on my shelf right now. And then I took one of my blank cassette tapes and recorded me reading SCP-1250. That's one, two, five, zero. Of course, I really, really hope that I'm correct on that number. It's really hard to keep track of all the SCP titles and whatnot, but one, two, five, zero, I think. And then I put that blank cassette back into the package with MC Hammer, literally glued the box shut again so they're gonna think they're opening a brand new product and donated it to Goodwill. And I cannot wait, I cannot wait to occupy that person's mind forever. I mean, come on, what are we here for if not to have fun? You're being interrogated and so far you've held strong. What song do they play on repeat that breaks you? Just the let the bodies hit the floor whisper on loop, but the rest of the song does not play. Bonus points if you rarely, or rather if rarely, you actually do get a really loud floor, then it goes back to the whispers again. You'll be thinking it could just be the next line the whole time. Just getting to sleep? Nope. <laughs> What movie would be better if it didn't have a happy ending? Toy Story 3. As they roll towards the incinerator, fade to black. Credits. Uh, someone did this, though. Someone messed with their mom, pranked their mom, for lack of any better terminology, even though pranked is totally accurate and I'm completely insane and I'm just really tired. But they did that. They took Toy Story 3, and when they all looked at each other and joined hands, he had the movie fade to the credits, and she lost her f***ing mind. Instead of polluting the planet with confetti, a hole punch leaves instead. Huh. You know what? This this may be a little extra, maybe just a little extra, but dude, look, honestly, I support this entirely. You know, you get your entire confetti supply for the year every autumn. It's free! No one's gonna care if you steal a leaf every now and then, go for it! Congrats! You found a Jiggy, one of a hundred. I'd make 99 of them, skipping 69 because I'm a child and drive this... What? Huh? Dude, I had a fear of apple juice for the first five years of my life because I didn't believe apple juice was real and it was just piss. When I was a kid, I would give people apple juice mixed with warm water and tell them it was my pee when they drank. <laughs> my parents told me my sister is adopted. They didn't tell her. She's 34. By the way, help, what do I do? Buy the whole family DNA test kits for Christmas and watch the world burn. No, that would take too long. At that point, just tell her. If I was a famous author, I would publish a book with 10 different endings, which all went to print with varying degrees of rarity, but not tell the fans about it so that I could watch their confusion as they disagree over how the story ended. Then when they figure it out, I would come clean, telling them that I had released 11 alternate endings and watch them panic again as they all try to find the last one. 
Are you Satan? Favorite new thing. Scratching haunting things into bananas at the- No, I've already done that, who cares? Years ago, my mother-in-law began reading The Exorcist. She said it was the most evil book she had ever read. So evil, in fact, she couldn't finish it. Took it over to the beach and threw it into the ocean off a fishing pier. I went and bought another copy, ran the faucet over it, and left it in the night table drawer by her bed. My father-in-law said that night was the first time she ever screamed and fainted. I'm going to hell. <laughs> but I'll go laughing. I don't even know know the translation of LOL, lots of love. So if you ever get bad news about a family member who's just died, send an LOL. Can we stop with the Jack Black demon devil thing? Can, can we stop? I'm not going to read it. I've done it too many times. My kid was being a brat, so I demarshmallowed his lucky charms. You son of a bitch. That's a great punishment. Crayola's new markers designed to be impossible to connect end to end to prevent kids from making lightsabers in class. Why would you do that though? What's the point of that? Loudest sounds ever. Would be funny to put one of this sounds in the middle of a ASMR video. <laughs> you guys ever want to see a great video? Look up bank robbery ASMR. I'm not kidding. Man, I really miss switching these two tapes at Blockbuster. Ha 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 ha, you bitch. Selling my house. Leaving this in the crawl space in the basement for the new owners as a housewarming gift. That's pretty good. I remember distinctly when I moved out of a rental, I took everything out, naturally. That's how you move out. And then I actually had my friend Brandon, who's on MK Asks, tape my outline laying on the floor. So it looked like someone was killed there. My husband wanted a sweet treat. I made orange rolls. To keep it interesting, one of these has nacho cheese on it. Okay, you're mean. The single most important thing a man can do to be an ally is give his woman friends permission to give dudes at the bar his number. So when they call, he can angrily say that's not funny because she died 15 years ago that very night. So my uncle got a drone and now he's with people. That's awesome, though. I hope your phone charger gets damaged to where it doesn't completely break, but only works at certain angles. Can you not curse me with that sh I had to deal with one of those, like, literally a week ago. Hey, if a public bathroom door is locked, don't forget to try to repeatedly open it and give the person using it paralyzing anxiety. The planet is about to end, and you get the aux cord for humanity. What's the last song we're all going to hear? Oh, no doubt about it, we're all getting rickrolled. You know the rules, and so do I. You wouldn't get this from any other species. Put a mirror on the stairs and scare the crap out of everyone. That is a lot of lawsuits waiting to happen. But again, how would they file it? They don't know you put it there. My neighbors are talking shit about me while I'm outside smoking, saying I'm a bad mom and they only hear me yelling at Phoebe and they never have actually seen me take my daughter out of the house. Phoebe is my cat. I would so play into this. Phoebe! No, you can't sit at the table. You gotta eat off the floor! Phoebe, you're sleeping outside tonight. Phoebe, stop acting up! You've given me no choice but to remove your uterus and ovaries. I don't know anybody that's ever used that as a punishment for their pets, man. Dr. Satan? Man, what? One time I got pulled over, so I got the cop's name from the ticket and used it to find his Facebook. Then his wife's Facebook. She was pregnant. Then I found her due date and rescheduled my court date for the birth of his firstborn child. Oh! Oh, evil! No, really f***ing mean. That is... Woo! Well, I mean, hopefully she's right on time. You know, being right on time seems to happen all the time for pregnancies, right? Okay, y'all, I'm pranking my sis. Let's hope she shits her pants. I'm going to be real with you. This is more than a pant type of scare. This is the type of scare that sends you to the f***ing doctor. Press your face up against some glass, take a picture, print it, laminate it, put it in a large jar, and then put that jar in the fridge. Again, far beyond a pants scare. Step one, get cheese puffs. Step two, cover them in melted chocolate. Step three, solidify the chocolate by freezing them and then put them in a Whopper box. Step four, feed to friends or family. That's a lot of effort I don't want to do. Getting him an empty PS5 box and filling it with a thousand reasons of why you love him. Look, I'm all for silly joke presents. I really am. But you better have something real afterwards. Not... Not saying that you're a 1,000 reasons of why you love him wouldn't be appreciated, but depending on what he got you, this could be kind of rude. I'm just saying, if he put in a big effort for your 
gift? And come on, you gotta have a real one afterwards, right? Something. We get some kids riled up for pizza and then leave. I've seen this, it's devastating, I cried. Daddy, won't Santa burn himself if he comes down the chimney? You're right, sweetie, let's put the fire out. No, leave it on. I remember back when I used to make content with Sam Gladiator, like a long time ago, I'm talking almost 10 years now. I remember we had a channel called The Pirateers and we actually made a cringy little Minecraft machinima using this exact joke. Okay, not exactly, but we did the whole Santa falls on the fire, Brent Daniels in it, it's great. He gonna scare the sh out of the next person who uses the toilet. I mean, thanks for the help, but I can sh on my own. What's a movie that doesn't seem like it would have a lot of sex scenes, but does? I want to recommend a movie with a ton of sex scenes to my cousin to watch with his family. I want suffering. Ugh. Sensor's broken. Just say, it's burger time! We'll be happy to take your order. When I was in high school, we had a friend that worked at Wendy's, and a day he was on drive-thru, we visited, but also taped a sign to the box that said, microphone broken, please scream order. He got almost an hour of screaming orders until somebody finally went out to see what the hell was going on with the box. That's a cute joke, though. I mean, hopefully he doesn't get in trouble for it, though. Because if you got him fired, f you guys. I just unscrewed the f***ing toilet lid and put it on backwards. So when my family comes home and needs to take a sh they need to fix it first. Wow! Okay, we found Satan again. Diffusing the bomb with just a second or two left. Hey, we better put a big digital readout on this bomb that we'll never see again. So the hero knows exactly how much time he has to diffuse it. If, if I built a timer like that, I'd make it go off with like 20 minutes to go. Woo boy, this post blew up unexpectedly. I've photoshopped Waldo out and sent this to friends. They're going to die. When I visit friends' houses that have an Alexa, I secretly set alarms for sleeping times. You monster! I mean, I've done something kind of similar. I think it's frickin' hilarious. One time in math class, my teacher was really pissed at us and he was yelling, Do you even know basic math? Do you know addition? What's two plus two? Corey, what's two plus two? And poor Corey wasn't paying attention, so I leaned over to him and whispered, Seven and he blurted out seven, and I've never laughed harder, and I doubt I ever will. That definitely happened. For every hoodie slash shirt she takes, I put a pair of underwear that's too small for her in her dresser. That way, no, oh, that's not right. That's just not right. You're given one wish, but everything you wish happens to everyone. What is your wish? I wish I'd sh myself right now. I'm in the bathroom, so the aftermath for everyone else is gonna be hilarious. Three rules. No wishing for death, no falling in love, and no bring back dead people. I wish to make people feel like they're going to sneeze, but never do. There are four rules. Ha 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 ha. What's your deepest, darkest secret? One time I told a guy it was theft to Google for code snippets, and he quit programming because it was too hard. Step one, build several mounds of snow in your yard. Step two, make eye holes in the mounds facing the neighbor's house. Step three, add glow sticks. Is this your front yard? Because holy God, whoever pissed in this soap dispenser? Wow. Sorry, mom, phoned you by accident. No worries, had you by accident. How do you come back from that? You can't. Come on your girlfriend's back and send her the picture. Here are your grandkids you'll never have. <laughs> oh, I turn hot dog water into ice cubes for guests that I don't like. I've seen some evil shit done before, but this is the equivalent to spitting on somebody. That's so evil. No, that's a lawsuit. I never wish death upon anyone who wronged me. I wish for sudden diarrhea while stuck in traffic with frequent sneezes. Okay, Facebook. Good morning. Hope everyone's enjoying their breakfast. On an unrelated note here are my gallstones. Just label it chocolates and leave it on the coffee table. Single man in China once booked every other seat in a cinema theater to split up couples on Valentine's Day. I I've heard this before. Is it even remotely real? Babysitting. I gave my nephews $5 each and told them to hold it against the wall with their nose. Whoever dropped it first would lose with the winner uh, getting to keep both. Kept them busy for three hours. This is how I wrapped my brother's gift this year. 156 screws. It only opens one way. You are f***ing crazy. In sixth grade, I told people that they were entering the wrong bathroom as they were walking in. When I cook with cilantro, I throw in a little soap, too, so no one feels genetically superior to anyone else. What? New torture idea. This is in your f***ing notes. 
All right, I got a new idea for Satan to torture people with. Make the person listen to their favorite songs, but instead of hearing the singer, they hear their own drunk ass voice trying to sing along. Nah, Satan's still gonna skin you. Even though it cost $2,500, it was still the best prank Josh ever pulled on his twin brother. What? Introducing the f everyone else's eyes 3000 welding hood. Can we unintroduce that, please? Be me working at GameStop. Parent asks for a game called COD. Tell her there's no game called COD, but her son probably meant Rabhala, pr Rabhala, pro bass fishing. There are lots of fish in that game, and the, it's the closest we have. Have a ton of copies in the back. We have a deal on, if you buy two copies, you get one free. She buys three brand new copies of this game. She comes back after Christmas. All three copies have been opened. No refund because you opened them. A kid out there received three copies of a fit. No, it wasn't a kid out there that received three copies. She bought three copies for a bunch of different people that she knew. Oh my God. How terrible of you. You know, you're a really mean guy. I wouldn't want you working at my local GameStop. Also, there's no way those kids actually opened these up. They know what game they asked for.